Hey guys, this is John with 360 Fishing. Uh, today is not a fishing video. It is something a little bit different. Uh, we are adding an extra step to the camper. Uh, what I have right now is a single. And I found out that single right there. So it's a little bit of a step. So, found on Amazon, two step. So, I measured it out, and it looks like all I have to do is take off that bolt, that bolt on each side. Just those two. And the bracket should come off. This other piece is welded on. So, I'm gonna get this uncrated, and uh, should be a simple process. Do have the hex bolt. See on the side right there, it just kind of locks in. And I might have to go get. that bolt in place. Alright guys, well, I didn't want to record all this, I'm glad I didn't. Uh, I've been out here probably about two hours now. Um, none of the bolt holes would line up exactly, okay? So, you see that one right there? I just gotta drill the hole just to make that fit so I can get that one and this side line up. And after I got that one, I went back. <laughs> I'm gonna drill three holes on each side. So that's the... Uh, yeah, that was a square round and two squares. So I'm gonna put another one back here in the back just to, just to brace it up. Uh, so there is a little bit of a gap. So I went and got longer washers, I mean longer bolts. 
some thicker washers to fill in just that little gap on each side. And like I said, I just pretty much got to drill new holes on the very back. You can see, excuse me, sorry about that guy. You can already see there's a hole back there, but I just gotta go through the, uh, the frame that holds it in place. So I'm gonna mock some of this up. Like I said, there's no sense in me recording all this. All I'm gonna be doing is um, marking it with a pen, drilling the hole, once I drill the holes, get everything lined up, then I'll come back and start recording. But yeah, I had to go to Home Depot to get some uh, lumber bolts. So, and that, I had to get a jack. This, this thing's a solid 60 pounds, but trying to hold it up and get a nut lined up and mark everything, wasn't happening. So. Chill out for one second. Let me get some uh, some marks and some drill holes, and uh, I'll be right back. Got everything drilled out. Got everything cleaned back up. Like I said, uh, I'm going to put washers in between this and the frame. Take off that slack. Like I said, it's about a half inch, maybe a little bit less. So uh, I could double up washers if I wanted to. But it's like I said, it's it's welded in on the back side of that, so it's really not going anywhere. So let's see how this goes. Got my cardboard in place because it's a uh... man. I ain't telling you, that thing is heavy.
after tapping it all the way through. I'm going to wait until that was up. Through tapping the proper coil to crank out. over. It's like that. And that is the two-step. Like I said this was purchased from Amazon. I think it was a hundred bucks, 108. That's the brand. Whipper. And it shows these are dimensions like i said mine was 26 but there's 25 and a half so wasn't able to use the washers all the way in there one thing about it you can uh I don't like about it. Well, there it is, folks. Like I said, this was not a direct bolt-on replacement. Um, I did have to drill new holes, but like I said, I was able to use a hose that came factory with this. That way, I was able to use the bolts with the square head. It went through the holes and locked into place. Just had to drill some new holes using those same hole, those, those same patterns. Uh, and that was it. Like I said, this was probably a total of uh, probably three hours. Uh, like I said, drill bits, uh, drill, and some. Uh, matter of fact, I went and got longer uh, uh, bolts and only ended up using two because I was able to reuse the same ones. And I got hex nut and bolt because the ones in the back weren't the uh, squares so that's it guys like i said i'm happy with it we'll try it out this next this following weekend and uh see how it goes you guys take care